Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, That Resale Guy. It is Tuesday, election day. There's gonna be craziness going on later tonight and tomorrow, who knows, but what I'm talking about, none of that. We're talking about reselling. Uh, yeah, I sold a bunch of stuff on eBay and Amazon. I went out thrifting this morning, so I got a bunch to talk to you about. First off, what is going on in my thumbnail video? Yes, I made some changes to my lifestyle here, not the crazy lifestyle changes, but a few here. And every morning I am doing a cold pool dive out in my backyard. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of reported health benefits with doing cold plunges, whether you do it in your shower, whether you do it in a swimming pool. And I've chose to go the swimming pool route. So changing up my diet, trying to get some exercise in, making a few other changes because uh, during all this shutdown time this year, has not been very good for my physical health and well-being, some of it. So yeah, I needed to make some changes. So every morning I'm making myself get out and the first thing I do each morning is go outside and jump in the pool and stay in for a full minute. Now that time will be going up. I'm just trying to get uh, used to it. This morning I did it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, which is today. So I've done it three times in the morning and trust me, it's tough to make yourself jump in the pool and that's the whole point of the thing is you don't want to do it. So sometimes making yourself do something you don't want to do is important. We all have a death pile. We don't want to get to it, but we need to. We need to eat better. We need to, but we don't do it. We need to exercise. We need to, we don't do it. So I'm wrapping up all these things into one and trying to be a little bit better me here from here on out. Now, right now I'm just looking at November and December. So. So at the end of the year, I plan on jumping in that swimming pool every morning. Luckily right now here in Arizona, it's about 80 some degrees, almost, I think 90 some degrees today. So the mornings haven't been too bad. But come next week, once the temperature drops into the 70s and 60s, it's gonna get a little chillier out there, but I'm still doing it. And uh, if I stop, I'll tell you, but trust me, I'm gonna plan on doing that every morning. Maybe I'll shoot a quick little video each day of me jumping in the water, like I should, I'll show the quick little clip here today and uh, show you that I am doing it. So uh, keep me on track. I want uh, you know you guys to help keep me uh, going on this as well. So I really need it. Now let's go on to reselling. Uh, I sold four items, one, two, three, four on eBay for like 270 bucks. Yeah, good average sale day. Really happy to see the items that I sold. Three items on Amazon. Now on Sunday, I was off watching football. My wife sends me a text and says, hey, do you want me to get these for you? They're on clearance. And let's see if I can turn this a little bit. You can see them right here. Yeah, all these tubs of Lego. These are brand new sets that they had on clearance at Michael's. I took the price tag off of them. They just had one little price tag, so that part was nice. It didn't take too much to get a big sticker clearance off these things. And here's the set. It's Unikitty, it's in this big white tub, 433 piece set. So this is a good quality set. I think their original price was like $42. They had them on clearance for, I think it was $14.97. So they had seven of them there. I had my wife, asked my wife nicely to pick them up all for me. So yeah, she picked them up. I spent $112.96 for the seven of those. And I've already got my money back. The first night I had them listed, I sold three of them. So I have three going out today, all on Amazon. Now the price I listed them for, I wanted to be the lowest because I'm afraid that other Michaels might have them on clearance and you might see some total rates at the bottom and the price really drop out on these. So I actually went out to one Michaels today. They didn't have any others. Uh, but yeah, I sold these for $55.99 plus a little bit for shipping. So with tax and everything, the person's like $66 and change all in. And even though it's a bigger box, it's not terribly heavy. My guess is when it's boxed up, it's gonna be like three pounds. So it's gonna ship out at that four pound rate. So not the cheapest thing to send out, but I'll probably just do them UPS or FedEx to uh, save as much as I can on those. So yeah, I sold three of those today, 155 bucks each. So that's 165 plus shipping. And yeah, really happy to uh, you know get my money back literally in the first day that I had those listed out there. So the last four that I'll sell will all be pure profit. Now we're gonna go over to eBay. Like I said, I only sold four items. We're gonna go over the cheap little one here first. This is the cheapest one. Let me flip on my screen. Yeah, I know, I didn't have it ready again. All right, this is the little thing. I had never seen these in the store. I don't even know what game you play with them or they're just collectible, whatever. Go, go crazy bones. I, for a while, started finding these like crazy at thrift stores. I swear every week I was finding a new tin and 
it's just these little figures. Like, this is a gold set, and there's 10 little gold figures in there. And that's all you get. There's a silver version, there's a white version, a black version of all these boxes. I've probably had them all through the last several years. This one took a long time to sell. Um, I ended up getting $9.99 plus shipping. Yeah, when I bought these originally, I think I was getting like $25 and $30 for this gold set uh, on Amazon. Again, these are used, they're not new, but either way, I got 10 bucks plus shipping. All right, next is a football jersey, but it's not like a team or a college or a pro team. This is just a kind of a generic number 32 jersey. The only thing that's unique about it is it came from a store that sells like Hollywood props. So the store's name is called It's a Wrap. And this is their tag right here. Oh, needed to focus. And they put like letter codes on here. Like this one says B-A-B-A. -B -A, and that represents a show or movie that this would have been made for. It doesn't guarantee that it was used because they make a ton of extra clothes for all these movies and productions and stuff. So when the, the productions wrap up, these stores buy all of them and just put them out there. Uh, this one, let's see, did it have an original price? Had an original price of $25. I ended up getting that same price. I ended up getting $24.99. Actually, I'm wrong. I did not get $24.99. $19.98. It was on sale. It was 25% off. Now we got the two good sales. Yeah. First up is going to be a football card. This is a rookie card of Wes Chandler. He was a rookie with the New Orleans Saints in 1980. Uh, he went on to play with some other teams, had a really good career, really underrated player. And I bought this card, I think, for 60 bucks a few months ago. Knew that it was a card that should go up. It is graded a Gem Mint 10. There aren't too many of them that have been graded a 10. That's why. And I threw it in my store for $99.99 plus shipping. And yeah, I got my sale. So this card went for 100 bucks plus shipping. Now, because I paid 60 after I pay the fees, I'm not making a ton on it. Probably in that $25 to $30 range, uh, if I did my math correctly, but still, still happy to make some money on a sports card. Now this guy, this is the second one of these I've sold. I bought two of these at the same thrift store a while back. It actually still has part of the price tag on there. This thing just really would not come off, so I just didn't even mess with it. I just left it like it was and showed the picture that it was on there. Bought two of these Michael Jordan figures. I paid $15 a piece for them, and I think I listed them for the same price. The first one was like he was doing a, like his famous dunk during the slam dunk contest. This is when he did his switch hand layup in the playoffs. And he got a card on the side showing him doing that as well. That's what the figure looks like when he's out of the box. So this was a great purchase. Actually, when I bought them, I only thought they were going to sell for like 40 or 50 bucks. It was when I got home and did the real research that I saw that they were selling for over 100 bucks. And yeah, that's what I got. $119.99 plus shipping on this figure. So yeah, another fantastic sale. And though this one I do make some good money on where this was a $100 sale where I'm only making a little bit. This is a $100 plus dollar sale where I'm making a lot on it. So uh, really happy that this one came through on the same day as this. And look, just that little stack is over 200 bucks. Yeah, put everything together today. It was like a $400 sales day between Amazon and eBay. So big thumbs up again, Q4. I'm expecting big days like this quite frequently. All right, that's it for sales. Like I said, I did go out thrifting this morning and I picked up some cool stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I got. First up, I got a couple of these Winnie the Pooh figures. Now, generally when you see figures like this at thrift stores, they're broken because Piglet will be missing an ear or Tigger's tail will be gone or something. These were complete, these were good. They were $4.95 and I'm probably gonna put them both in my booth. Uh, probably for like $12.95. They sell anywhere in that $10 to $15 range. Maybe this one I looked was about $20 on eBay. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put in my booth $12.95 a piece. Next are a couple board games. And the reason I'm showing these is because I've actually never seen these games before. The, the toys and games is a, usually the first section that I hit in thrift stores and check out all the board games. This one's called All the Kings of Men. It's similar to chess, but it looks like the pieces move a little bit differently depending on what square you're on. This was only $2.49. Uh, I looked it up on Amazon. The comps were like $30 plus, maybe pushing 40. I didn't look on eBay. Prices on eBay for a lot of stuff, as I always talk about, is a lot less. So that's why I dual list a lot of stuff. This one, I'm not sure. I may actually keep this, we'll see. I, I talked about how I have my little game collection up there. Because I've never seen this one, I may just keep it. 
Same with this one. Never seen it. Who's it? Question mark. The Star Studded Guessing Game by Park Brothers. This is another game I've never seen. Let me see if there's a date on this box. This has got to be like 80s or maybe 70s even. No date on the box. Actually, it's missing a panel. Either way, I thought this was pretty cool. A nice old vintage game. Again, $2.49. Same thing. I scanned it and saw that they were in that high 30s to $40 range on Amazon. And uh, yeah, I may keep it. All right. How could I pass this next one up? Look, that So Raven handheld video game. Uh, this is made by Zizzle Electronics. Zizzle. Never heard of that company, but I scanned it and there was only, I think, one on Amazon and I don't remember the price. Okay, take a quick break, take a look it up. There's one on Amazon. They're asking $39.99. Now, it's ranked like 2 million plus on Amazon, so it's probably never going to sell there. I will cross list this between eBay and Amazon and I'll probably put it for 30 bucks. So I'll put it a little bit less. This was marked 449. I used my coupon, so we'll say 350 is what I paid for it. But yeah, I mean, this is a game that isn't listed out there. If there's any that so Raven fan out there, they'll need this. All right, Christmas stuff is starting to hit the shelves at the Goodwills. They took out all the Halloween stuff. They're filling it up with Christmas, and I like to hit those because you can find a lot of good deals on those. And this is the first thing I found. This Little People, they call it Little People Christmas Story, but it's a nativity scene here. Uh, all the figures, pretty cool set. This was only marked $5.49, and I did use my coupon, so 4 bucks is what I paid. Really cool. I'll probably put this in my antique booth, and my guess is it's got to be about 20 bucks. Yeah, I bought some maxi pads. Uh, these were two bucks for this vintage pack of man maxi pads. Let me see if there's a date on this box. 1984. These are from the early 80s. I was in just starting high school when these things were made. Uh, there's no comps for this exact box on eBay, but from what I saw, $30, $40 isn't out of the question. And yeah, I paid two bucks for them. This last one back here. You know what I'm going to need this for? Counting all my money. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Q4, I'm going to need one of these to count all of my money that I'm going to take in from sales. I've never seen a currency counter at a thrift store. And you can see the price here. If you can read it, it was $29.99. But I looked up this model on Amazon and one is used and they're asking $190 for it. The new ones were more expensive. And when I first opened the box, it does look like it's new in here. So I am hoping everything's still wrapped up, looks new. Got the power cord all wrapped up. Even if it's used, I'm going to look on eBay real quick. I will take another break. All right. I looked it up on eBay real quick because I wanted to see what they were selling for on there. There are currently 16 available for sale and there is 17 sold. So it has a fantastic sell through rate. Uh, the cheaper ones are out of the box, just the base unit itself. Doesn't include like the little digital display and the other parts with it. Uh, the cheapest ones are like 75 to 125 is the cheapest three that are out there. So this is in the box. I'll take it out and inspect it a little bit, see if it is brand new or if it is like a uh, used one with all the box and everything. But I'm figuring I'm gonna get at least 150 bucks for it. You know, I'd like to push that 200 mark, but I'll be happy with 150. Again, I spent $29.99, but I did use a coupon, got 20% off. That's six bucks off the price. I paid $24. So it was a fantastic find. It was kind of down on a shelf, almost hidden a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's going to turn out to be a really good pickup. All right, this next item I actually picked up a couple weeks ago, but I want to show it real quick. It was sitting down here waiting to be listed. This is a giant inflatable swan. And I always pick up these inflatables and scan them. They usually go for anywhere from 25 to 40 to $50, just depending on what it is exactly. But what's funny is this one had an uh, address label still on the side, and it turned out to be somebody that my wife worked with in the past. So <laughs> that was kind of funny. She saw the name, she saw the address in the city, and goes, I think I worked with her. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I got to get the stuff shipped out. It's almost two o'clock already. Uh, Tuesdays, I go out a lot in the morning. That's probably like my biggest thrifting day is Tuesday. So that's why I kind of get a little later start. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. So uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a nice, safe night. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new, you like content like this about reselling, thrifting. Uh, I haven't talked about my antique booth too much. I might go out there tomorrow. So if you like antique booth talk, 
hit that subscribe button. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.